Kia ora my friends, I hope you're doing really well today. So I just wanted to jump on and uh, share some thoughts um, because this week in Aotearoa, New Zealand, it's actually Māori Language Learning Week here. So it's a week where we're all encouraged to um, remember that we live in a land that's actually uh, Māori land. It's uh, New Zealand is, you know, the name that, it, that this land has been given is actually in Te Reo Māori, which is the, the language of the first people. Um, that means the language of Māori, Te Reo Māori. So the name of New Zealand is actually Aotearoa. So sometimes you might hear me say things like Aotearoa. You will often hear me say Kia ora, which is a greeting, which means hello, hi, how are you kind of thing. It means a lot of stuff. It also means cheers. And it also, you can use it as a way of saying thanks. So um, I love that because it's kind of it catches a lot of a lot of areas. I love the fact that you can use Kiora in such different ways. Um, so you know, for me, as a, a British person of Nigerian heritage, I have a deep respect for different cultures, and you know, I've, I guess I've always straddled at least two: being born in Britain and having my <clears throat> having my parents be born in another country in Nigeria, and having brown skin um, and all of that, and being a European as well. So we are, you know, traditionally, although Brexit has kind of changed that landscape somewhat, but traditionally, in my view many of us Europeans and of my generation are really proud of the fact that we are connected to our, our family our kind of extended family in Europe so for me as a British born person going to France was like going to my back garden you know going for my holidays going to Spain was like a second home and indeed it is for many British people so there's obviously a lot um, of controversy around that um, around the whole Brexit thing but, you know, all I can speak to is my own experience, which is that, you know, understanding those other cultures in my European neighborhood, as, as it were, was always just part of my life. There's, there's, no, there's no question that we are all connected. Um, so for me coming here to Aotearoa, you know, again, it was a no brainer that I was always going to, and my husband is the same, we're always going to do our best to learn Te Reo Māori, to learn the language. It's a slow process. And I want to give you a couple of tips if you are similar to us in a different country, a different culture, and you want to um, respect your new homeland. For me and for us, we considered like, how did we learn our mother tongue, which is obviously English? We learned it through play, through song. So Waiata in Te Reo Māori, that's how we say song. We learned it through stories. We learned it through hearing our mother speak to us um, and reading simple language, simple books with nice colorful pictures. And so that is the way we are learning. <laughs> it's a slow process and it's uh, yeah painfully slow at times, but it doesn't matter because I'm not thinking of this as a short term Kind of thing i want to understand not only the language but the culture so yeah just some thoughts for you um to always keep in mind to have that respect and honor for the land that you walk on um we, we are all immigrants these days if you were to look at your dna you would find that actually whatever you culture you think you're from would not be the whole story so uh yeah just some thoughts for you to start your day Today is uh, Tuesday here in Aotearoa. We're always ahead of the curve, living in the future here in New Zealand. Isn't it wonderful? So my friends, nice to see you. Kia ora.